video, but I wanted to do a little intro because I totally forgot to do one in my video. So the video you're about to see is how to meal prep super easy, super fast, and literally in less than an hour. Like, it's such fast meal prep, really efficient, really healthy, really effective. I think you guys are really going to love it. I get tons of meal prep requests and like meal idea videos that you guys want me to do. And I was like, okay, I literally don't like meal prep. Like if there is one thing that I like really hate, it's probably meal prep because it usually takes tons and tons of hours. And so I have literally perfected meal prep. I do the easiest, fastest meal prep, really basic stuff that I then can convert into other meals throughout the week when I want to spend more time on it. But on Sunday, fun day, when Tim and I are watching football and cheering on our fancy football teams, the last thing we want to do is spend hours and hours in the kitchen. So this is how to meal prep in under an hour and let's get into it. I cannot find the bars I want. They are like, I don't know if they're called, it's called Berries Gomega is the flavor. And the brand, I can't remember the brand, but I would know it when I see it. It's definitely not kind. Oh my gosh, they do not have it. This is so sad. I always would get them from Byerly's. Oh well, let's take a look at what we got so far. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Paper towels, we really needed paper towels. It's almost time for coffee. I really thought I would find these bars here. All right, guess we're gonna have to pick other ones. This looks kind of like what I always used to get, but the macros are kind of crazy. So I'm only gonna eat like half it at a time, I guess, but it's gonna be bad for a refeed for like day, and it doesn't have mango in it, which I'm allergic to, so. We're gonna try that one out. What else should I get? What are these pro bars? Is this like a new thing? Oh, that other one was a meal bar. Oh, these macros are a lot better. This is coconut. This is coconut almond. I think I'm gonna get this one. All right, let's move on to the coffee. I desperately need coffee, and there's caribou. coming to get you caribou. Tim and I, I'm gonna bring Tim some coffee and he's gonna help me unload the groceries hopefully and carry them up to the apartment. Okay, I just got done at the grocery store and you guys, I found this, this was like the cheapest bottle of water there and it looks like vodka and it's freaking me out. I'm like, if I'm driving, drinking this in my car, I feel like I'm gonna get pulled over. Like it looks like a little tiny bottle of vodka, which is hilarious, but I'm so thirsty. I just got like desperately thirsty when I was in the grocery store, so I never buy a bottle of water because I can just wait till I get home, but today I couldn't. I did get us our coffees. So I just got a um, reindeer blend at Caribou and I got Tim a caramel high rise hot. I'm gonna take these home and text him so he can help me unload this car. And then, I don't know, see what we get into, I guess. Okay, so we went to the grocery store and got a bunch of healthy food and stuff to do the easiest meal prep ever in the world because I don't like spending a ton of time on meal prep. And so I wanna show you guys what I do to keep it really easy and super simple for me and for Tim because we like to do things in bulk so that we can both have healthy food throughout the week. So I'm gonna take you through my meal prep. Okay, so part of my easiest meal prep ever is um, prepping my breakfast or my refeed or lunch, whatever. I love these Kodiak cake um, protein power cakes. I don't even know like how I ever lived without them. I just do um, less water. It says one cup of mix, one cup of water, but I do like a couple cups of mix because I make them in huge batches and leave them in the fridge like for, you know, the next four days or however long we eat them. Sometimes I'll make them with chocolate chips, but I just discovered the greatest thing ever is if you make them regular and then put Nutella on them and then Cool Whip Light, which is how I eat my protein pancakes. And I literally just make one at a time and I put them in a Tupperware and they last like all week, although we normally eat them in like three or four days. And you can make them as thin or as fluffy and big as you want. Okay, so one super easy way to meal prep is using your slow cooker, and I use it a lot in the fall. I haven't made apple cider yet, but usually I make that. And then one of my 
favorite things to do. I've only done this maybe once or twice, but it makes it a lot easier than like grilling this or baking this, and it's a lot more tender and juicy. So these are just the Jenny O Savory Roast Turkey Breast Tenderloins, and there are two in each packet. The only thing with these, if you can find plain ones, that's what I would recommend. This is all my grocery store had, and I really wanted to make this, but they are really high in sodium, so you want to be careful with that. Um, so only eat like according to the servings, because this one, so... This has six servings, it's four ounce servings, and it has 380 milligrams of sodium, and I try to stay under 2,500 a day, so this is like 16% of your daily requirement for sodium. So you don't need to spray your slow cooker with Pam, but I usually do, and then I'm going to put them in here with water and cook them. It's just like a half cup of water for both these tenderloins, and cook them on low for an hour and 45 minutes to two hours I mean on high for an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, or if you're on low, I believe it's three hours total. Yeah, I'll do it very close. Yeah. Action shots. <laughs> I mean, don't make too much crazy. It's a style of film. <laughs> I can't get these out. <laughs> Gotta get in the gym. Tim, help! <laughs> okay, hold on. Be an athlete. <laughs> This is being recorded. I know. The world will know. <laughs> I'm losing all my strength, you guys. Need to do some uh, DB lap raises. It'll probably <laughs> help with this. Get in there, champ. I really can't get this. You're so, oh my god. You're gosh. so close. Okay, I did it. Yeah, turkey. Okay. Now you're knocking stuff over. Okay. This is this what they look like? Put that in the right spot. Yeah. Well, okay. That sounds pretty important. So we keep filming. Action shot. Get that soap. <laughs> you left the water on that whole time just to wash your hands in the future? <laughs> yeah. You made me leave it on for that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did, Tim. Okay, half cup of water. And you didn't leave it on when you knew you needed a half cup of water. Yeah, okay, we did it. That's just a strange series of uh, steps there. Close her up! That's the whole recipe? Yeah. That's, I, told you. I could even do that. I know, it's like the easiest thing ever. I remember posting this on my... Don't you want to get dramatic or something? Pretend to put some spices in? All done. Well, you already closed Okay, it. and then we go. Power. Enter two hours. Enter. It's cooking. <laughs> All done. There's a okay. hint of crazy in your eyes. Then don't do that. Don't mm -hmm. do that. Stop. Man, you got some crazy eyes going on. Don't make them big. Yeah, that's. I think that's the. I think that's the cover that's shot. Take it. Bit of rice too. It totally works. I actually can't do this with you filming it. I think it's stressing me out. I'll do it myself. One other thing that I do when I'm meal prepping, always with rice, I don't like to cook rice on the stove very much. It just never works out very well for me. Um, so I usually get the ready rice um, or minute rice and this is just Uncle Ben's and it's butter and garlic flavored which I thought would be really good with our turkey, our ground turkey and then the chicken that we're going to make um, tomorrow. Um, and I got three of these, butter and garlic, and they're literally 90 seconds. So you peel them back, put them in the microwave, and then I bring them out and put them in one of these Tupperware containers. And then we have rice for the week. So I'm going to make these three, kind of see how much it makes. And I might throw a whole grain, um, because we have a lot of packets of these, because I, usually they're on sale for like three for five. So whenever they're on sale, I just get a bunch of them. And, um, we always have them kind of up there for whenever we want rice. So... I do that, and then Tim doesn't like sweet potatoes, but I do, and I always get the microwavable kind because they last, they take like seven minutes or something, and in the oven they take an hour, and um, and so what I do is I just microwave these, I peel them out of their skins, and I put them in another Tupperware here, so then I have sweet potatoes for the week, and I can add whatever I want, so if I want a sweet potato, um, like a sweet sweet potato, one day I can put some brown sugar on it, um, or brown sugar trivia I have. Or if I want like a savory sweet potato, I can put like spinach and some of our ground turkey. So I just make them plain and kind of mash them in a Tupperware and then we'll be done. And I have four of these to make. So I'm going to meal prep um, these things really quickly and that's it.
Okay, so the rice is done. The sweet potato is in the microwave. I have three more to do here, but I'm heating up a little bit of extra virgin olive oil here, and I'm going to cook one pound of Genio lean ground turkey. I'm just going to do this totally plain, no taco seasoning or anything. If you wanted tacos all week for dinner or something like that, you could totally put taco seasoning in here, but I'm going to put a little garlic in there first, and then the turkey meat, and then throughout the week, we can use it for stir fry ve with vegetables. I can put it on top of my sweet potato with any other seasonings that I want, but I like to kind of make plain foods with really basic seasoning so then you can repurpose them throughout the week and you don't have to eat the same thing every single day. So that's an easy meal prep trick. So I am just going to saute this in here and cook it up and put it in a Tupperware container for the week. Thank you guys for watching this video. I've got something really, really special coming for you guys tomorrow night. 3S Fitness is launching a brand new product, so you're not going to want to miss it. At 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow night, you are going to find out what we have been up to. It's really, really exciting, so stay tuned for that. Have an awesome, awesome night, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah!